Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Mopo, where it's all a matter of personal opinion. I'm at Dave Road Shady 3, here with Happy Scientist, and today we have the second edition of the WWE Slam Crate, brought to you by Loot Crate. Um, so yeah, let's dig right in. So this month, I believe... The theme is, uh, it's a dream big, I was going to say inspire, dream big, so, gives a little description of what is in the, the loot crate, but also as we found out oh. last month, it comes with a poster too, and you know that sigh over there? pretty accurately did, uh, was, uh, you know, it's the ultimate warrior, you know, warriors unite. I really love the contrast, I like how they had his makeup and his colors highlighted, yeah. everything else is black and white. Yeah, it's an armband, yeah, it's color, tight. but everything else is black and white, uh, you know, uh, he died not too long ago, like a few days after getting inducted into the... WWE Hall of Fame, and uh, no, he's a phenomenal wrestler, just a great, like, character. Uh, he was, I always liked him better than Hulk Hogan, and I'm a little bit, you know, younger, and Hulk Hogan was very big, you know, kind of before my time, but I love the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior, Warrior was awesome. I mean, it definitely one of, one of the favorites. Yeah. And one of also the most iconic. For sure. Uh, so next we got a little bean cap, uh, a yes, 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 Daniel Bryan, uh, you know, cap, and that, that's pretty cool, I like beanies, um, you know, I, I guess I would rock that, and Daniel Bryan, he, he is a phenomenal wrestler, he's not really one of my favorites, but, um, and, he's wearing it. You know, his, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm sure Ultimate Warrior was a fan of Daniel Bryan. He got his name really in the indies. Uh, he was part of, um, you know, comp the competition show where uh, The Miz was his um, mentor. And he got over early and, uh, you know, he, he definitely had a great career, and he's definitely, like, an uh, inspiration to a lot of people. I can see where they, they tried to hold him down. The, the storyline was, you know, he wasn't big enough. He wasn't strong enough, you know, to be champion, but he he did it anyway. Um, you know, so good for him. And next is actually an AJ Styles shirt. A phenomenal one, P1. Uh, AJ Styles, we... Uh, we talked about him a little bit in the last crate where, you know, he's a huge worldwide wrestling star who really achieved that achievement outside of WWE. Uh, like, even it's, it, it kind of says AJ on the back of it, too. That's that's kind of cool. Um, but he was known as a phenomenal one, f phenomenal one for years, like, and he just kind of, you know, made his way into WWE. Um, and, you know, he's already a major star on the SmackDown brand. And I, I believe he's still the champion right now. Next, it looks like the, uh, the pin is a replica of the Intercontinental Belt. So now you got the warrior wearing the P1 shirt, wearing the Daniel Bryan hat, and I guess we'll pin. Yeah, you know, once again, die cast metal. The pins never are the pins not quality. Yeah, like it, it really is never a disappointment. It's always, it's never, I never plastic, and it's always like you said, some sort of cast metal quality stuff. I. They're not. They're not letting you down on that. Right. So the next item is a little Bailey bear. Uh oh. You know, uh, Bailey is 
is a phenomenal, you know, character in WWE. I, she's been wrestling a long time, and, um, you know, she was in NXT for a long time, and honestly, I was of the opinion that she would always be in NXT. But, you know, uh, Nikki Bella got hurt, you know, earlier, in, you know, last year, and it gave Bailey an opportunity to actually come up to the main roster and, you know, I think she's there for good now. So, you know, good for her. She's another a true showing of, you know, if you want to, you know, show kids that, you know, dreams really can come true, Bailey is for sure a prime example of that. And she, it sucks when it's so hard for someone so good to come up because there's already places filled. Yeah. You know, and, it, and it's sad to see it happen the way it does, but it's nice to see these uh, these individuals yeah. get their you know, chance. Daniel Bryan and Bailey, you know, their their stories are kind of the same in that way, where nobody really, you know, at the the upper levels of the company, um, you know, believed in them. But the last item I think it is really cool. I, I really like it. Um, Hopefully, you can see it. You know, the champ is here. Uh. Oh, John is... Cena die cast uh, metal toy. You know, as a human being, John Cena is is top of the line. He um, he's done more Make a Wish wishes than anyone else on the planet, and he's just great. You know, great character for little kids. Um, you know, he's not my favorite wrestler, but I'll always cheer for him. Just because of that, the stuff that he does for uh, the the tro the troops of this country and like you know kids is is just great. And he's a funny guy too. He's an actor, uh, you know, fifteen, fourteen or fifteen time champion. Uh, you know, he's he's one of the very best ever, and it's cool to get a little toy like that. You know, a little uh, statue even. You know. Um, yeah, I, I liked it a lot, and I believe the uh, the box kind of turns into a little stage, just like last month. But this one it has uh, AJ Styles versus uh, versus John Cena, which is some, a match that five years ago nobody said would would happen. So, so this is a runway. Right here, in like yeah, a stage. To a stage. So, and you said the last one was a stage. Yeah. Too? Okay, because I was like, that'd be really cool if they had, you know, maybe a couple are a stage, right? And then a couple are turn into a ring. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be really cool. And then you cool. could have the stage go down to the ring. Oh, and it pulls off and it's got other panels. Yeah, you know, I'll kind of make it real quick while, you know, we finish up. You know, whatever. Um... Not quite as many items in this month's uh, box. Are you gonna hide, dude, man? Though. But all the same, still pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna pass <laughs> that off, and we'll see. You know how that works. Uh, okay. Does see? I was going with. Um, Turn it into a box again, but I, I see it now. I don't know how it's supposed to. No, nah, that part will come up, but um, you know, I, I like last month they had a little uh, trading card in it, and um, yeah, I don't know. That seems weird. Oh, that's how it works. That's pretty awesome. Where this month, you know, there was no real card in it or, you know, anything, but I, I do like the little Bailey bear a lot. I love the John Cena, you know, extra figure. I love the AJ Styles t-shirt. Each one of these items is awesome, so you can't, I mean, you can't really complain. It's very much like a core crate. So if you keep in mind, you know, keep it in mind like that, um... You know, it's a pretty good value, and if you like every item that you're getting, then that, you know that's a plus. Because as you mentioned before, 
with the the normal crates, the normal DX, and the normal uh, pour crate, um, you might not like every item you get. So that that's where getting you know the WWE crate, if you're a fan of WWE, it is just a good thing. It's perfect. But uh, you know that being said, uh, you know remember. Uh, you know, it's all Mopo, it's all matter of personal opinion. You know, we'd love to hear what you think about this. You know, do you think the WWE crate is a good value? You know, let us know. Thanks for watching.